Hey guys and girls, today we're going to be talking about a, another carp reel. Um, something a little bit different, something we've just launched actually in the Dawa range. It's the Crosscast QD. Now, previously we had the S series, the X series, and the Crosscast, so a whole lot of different versions. This is a slightly smaller size, it's a 5000. So, as you can see there, the spool is a hell of a lot shallower than you have in the 5500s and like the Windcast 6000. So this guy does take less line. Now, you're still looking at, if you're putting 20 pound braid on, you're gonna get more than enough line for your casting purposes and your short uh, dropping wise, if you are gonna take things in with the boat. Um, the very shallow spool, similar to things like the top end reels, the Baziers and uh, that kind of liking. The Infinities as well. You have a quick drag on the top, obviously why it's called the cross cast QD. Now a quick drag helps, you can have from very free spool just a little turn and you've got a lot of drag straight away. The reel actually boasts 15 kilos of drag which you are probably never going to use, um, but it is something that's nice to have. So, thin thin spool, um, very shallow, nice long distance casting type thing. You have your high impact line clip, now Specimen guys like fishing to a set distance. So you're gonna have all your rods set out at say 103 meters, 17 wraps, whatever, however you wanna, wanna denote it. Now what the clip helps you do, normal line clips have just a little, a little V of plastic or so that you can just clip the line into. The problem with that is that it actually does damage the line. It puts a little, little nick in the line, a little, uh, little wedge in the line. But what this does, because of the rounded edges, and the spring that's set up behind it, it's very, very friendly to your line. So you can have your cast out, you feel around with your lead, you find the distance. Then you can actually clip your line underneath there, cast out, and once it hits the clip, you feel it down, and you can leave the line clipped in there or tie a little piece of marker elastic or something like that onto it, and you've got your distances set. So that helps you not to have to worry about your line getting damaged in the clip or anything. And also it can take a big impact. Obviously HIP, high impact. That's what that stands for. Other features on the reel, very, very light. You're looking at 630 grams for the entire reel. He does have a backwind feature. Set up there very nicely. Very nice looking reel, obviously. Got your, your digi gear built into it. It's got twist buster. They look amazing set up on the, uh, or any of the new carp rods that we've got set up on the bank. Um, obviously specimen anglers, we are a little bit of tackle tarts, so the look of the reel does play quite a big part. It's nice to have something, something looking that nice set up next to it. Um, in terms of your, your, wind, your crank, every crank round you're looking at 106 centimeters, so very, very big line take up very quickly. It only has three ball bearings, but that's not a, not a bad thing. The reel feels as smooth as butter. Um, like we said, brand new to the market, something that is available at all the, uh, the major tackle stores, anything that's worth its salt will have this in stock. And this paired to either the new Crosscast or the Power Mesh or the Black Widow, depending on your budget, will be a beautiful reel for the specimen anglers. And if you want to go conventional with them, you can, it will work, it's not like they're limited. Um, but yeah, that's the new Crosscast QD. Very, very, very nice reel. Cheers.